Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pleb. Well, tonight we're gonna have two stories here. The first, Canada has new passports. Our passports have been redesigned by the woke liberals. They look absolutely terrible. Vimy Ridge is no longer in there. Terry Fox is no longer in there. The liberals are once again trying to erase our history. In the second part, we're going to have Pierre Polyev and Justin Trudeau face off in the House of Commons. Pierre Polyev grills Justin Trudeau over the new passport design. You won't want to miss this video. It's good to see them back in the House of Commons facing off. But before we start tonight's story, ladies and gentlemen, Bill C-11's here, internet censorship. Trudeau is censoring everything. The way we combat this, subscribe to my channel, put on post notifications so you see when my videos go out. Don't let the Trudeau algorithm decide what you see on YouTube. You decide. Let's start tonight's story. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's story will start with our passport. Getting a brand new design here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see in the front, this is what the new passport looks like. But the real story here, ladies and gentlemen, is what they put inside the passport, how they redesign the passports. They look absolutely terrible. Our passports have now gone woke. I'm going to show you guys some of the designs here. It's going to be a tweet here from Chris Nardi saying, here are pictures of the new designs. That will be inside the passports, essentially out with the current images of historic Canadians, moments and landmarks, and with more generic scenes of Canadian life. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you guys how bad these new passports look. They look like dog shit. They are so bad. Look at these passports. Look at, what is that, a bird? That doesn't even look like a tree. What is that, maple syrup? It, it, there is no Canadiana in this. This just looks like a generic Android wallpaper, <laughs> you know? Terrible, that's the first one. What is this? This is a guy like running in a field and there's a canoe back. How is this Canadian? How does this look like a Canadian passport? That's, it's terrible. What is this? Okay, so we got some geese here with a caribou, but you can't even see it because it's like in pink color. Like, what is this type of art? Guys, I'm not the art expert here. You guys tell me in the comments. What kind of art is this? This looks like dog shit. This does not look like the Canada I grew up in, or Canada at all. Okay, so they have like a silhouette here, practically, of a bear. Is that supposed to be ice? Is that supposed to be... Oh, okay, wait. Is that an Inuit hidden there? Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this passport design is terrible. Oh, my God. The liberals put out a new passport so they wouldn't offend anyone, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to offend anyone if you can barely see anything in these passport pictures. What's wrong with Terry Fox? What is wrong with the, the soldiers who fought in the Battle of Vimy Bridge for our freedom as Canadians? What's wrong with featuring them? What in the woke crap is this passport? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Pierre Polyev and Justin Trudeau faced off today in the House of Commons over these passports, over a couple of issues. We're going to play the clip, the battle back and forth with Justin Trudeau. Let's watch Pierre and Justin Trudeau go at it in the House of Commons. The 3,000... 598 Canadians who gave their lives so that Canada could have freedom and victory at Vimy. He's erasing them, and with that, he is insulting all of our veterans. The Prime Minister, why, was, why will the Prime Minister not stand up for our history, get connected to reality, and keep the images in our passport that make us so proud to be Canadian? Right. What was wrong with the old passport? Let's hear this dumbass response. Mr. Speaker, veterans across the country are being reminded of what the Conservatives did around veterans. They wrap themselves in the flags and the symbols anytime they can, but in fact, they nickeled and dimed our veterans, they used them for photo ops, they shut down nine veteran service offices across the country uh, so they could try and save a little money through cuts. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives have always disrespected veterans while they wrap themselves in the imagery. We're going to continue to deliver for the veterans every single day. Oh, we're talking tough today, Justin. Helping out the veterans by sending literally all of our military equipment to Ukraine. 
by making the military woke and nobody wanting to join it. We have record low military recruits right now in this country because of Justin Trudeau's government, I would assume. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments why we're not having anyone coming to our military. But yeah, go ahead and virtue signal, Justin Trudeau. We don't even have a military thanks to you. drama production, Mr. Speaker. He just closed every single veteran's office in Canada by causing the biggest strike in Canadian history. But back to the passport. Order. Order. Okay, there seems to be some excitement building. Uh. I want to nip it in the bud. We're here to have He's a like the high school principal. Debate, which means when someone's speaking, not everyone shouts, regardless of whatever the side is. The Honorable uh, gov- uh, Leader of the Opposition. Okay, the Dad. Chances. Let's go. This, this is the new passport they're so excited about, Mr. Speaker. They erased Vimy Ridge to put in an image of a squirrel eating a nut. <laughs> they erased Terry Fox, ah! a guy who ran halfway across the country to fight cancer, to put in a man raking leaves. And they erased Quebec City in order to put in what is, appears to be an image of a boyhood prime minister, prime minister swimming at Harrington Lake. Could this prime minister be any more out of touch with Canadians? Wait, was that Justin Trudeau at his cottage? Prime minister. What? Mr. Speaker. While the Conservatives are trying to pick fights here in the House, we're focused on delivering for Canadians. Wait, did Justin Trudeau make a silhouette of himself at his cottage in Harrington Lake? Is This is the biggest narcissist in the world. Holy sh- Beep! As we move forward with the Budget Implementation Act uh, that's protecting homeowners with uh, anti-house uh, flipping measures, as we're stepping up on... Yeah, I'm going to interrupt the, honor- the Right Honourable Prime Minister. It seems to be starting to pick up again. I'm going to ask everyone to listen to each other. Boo. Not interrupt each other. The right Honourable Prime Minister, from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, while the Conservative Party continues to try to pick fights in the House, this government is focused on delivering for Canadians, for hardworking families and for workers. While they filibuster in committee against the Budget Implementation Act that's going to uh, create uh, greater uh, greater uh, transfers for uh, workers with the Canada Workers' Benefit, uh, deliver on an anti-flipping measures to help uh, homeowners, uh, moving forward in significant measures to help Canadians, uh, their playing games mr speaker we are focused on affordability for canadians they're focused on picking fights let's put on the the honorable when the prime minister found out of the closing of the main famous deli he tweeted ouch but his ouch was not for the 30 the main is a place i've been to in montreal it is a famous 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 montreal landmark a staple of montreal been around since the 50s it's an iconic restaurant and it had to shut down. Listen to why. Five year long employee who lost his job. His ouch was that he's not going to be able to eat his favorite sandwich anymore. <laughs> we found out from a loyal customer that the reason why the main closed is because food prices have skyrocketed under this prime minister. Yep. He's determined now to increase his carbon tax threefold, which will send food prices flying higher. Why doesn't he park his plane? Cancel the hypocrisy and axe the tax. Let's go. Axe the tax, baby. Mr. Trudeau, uh, Mr. Speaker. Oh. Montrealers, uh, like Canadians all across the country. He loves himself so much. Loves himself so much he says his own name. Order. I don't think I have to remind the members not to use proper names. But, uh... Uh, 
Okay. Right out of your system. Now let's go on. The right Honourable Prime Minister Fight. from the Chief. Mr. Speaker, Montrealers, like Canadians all across the country, care deeply about protecting the environment and also know that the only way to create good jobs, uh, strong communities, and a better future is to fight climate change <laughs> while uh, we build a stronger economy. That's exactly what we have a plan to do. That is why we put a price on pollution Bruh. and are sending the climate action incentive back to Canadians where it applies so that 8 out of 10 Canadians are doing better with that. We are fighting climate change and building a stronger economy two things that the conservatives apparently he wants to tax about. the environment we'll tax the, the weather the only one prime minister Oops. wants to know about is himself that's why he can't help but using his own name right here on the floor of the house of commons and mr speaker it's why the only concern he had about a business closing is he's not going to get his favorite sandwich that means People are losing their jobs. Customers are losing the ab ability to eat. One in five Canadians are skipping meals now. After eight years of this Prime Minister, 1.5 million going to the food bank. The carbon tax hits the farmers that make the food, the truckers that ship it, and therefore it taxes the food itself. Why won't he bring down food prices, bring home lower prices, and axe the tax? That's right. The right Honourable He wants to tax the, the, the weather. He wants to tax the weather, and apparently all these taxes are going to, what, change the, the, the climate, like po a point three of one degree or something? You know, they want to drive us into poverty for these terrible returns on these taxes. These people are insane. These props that wants to talk about how we use social media respectively. Let's oh, here we go. Everyone yeah. that he used misogynistic right. and... Trudeau desperation. He's bringing out the misogyny. ...women hashtags <laughs> to make sure that he was reaching out uh, to uh, dark <laughs> corners of the internet with all of his YouTube videos Here we go. until we called him out for it. Mr. Speaker, that kind of misogyny, the casual approach uh, that they take on that side against fighting women's rights, uh, against reopening the abortion debate, around being absolutely irresponsible with the approach and standing up for rights, it continues from them. So yes, let's judge each other on our social media. I look forward to Canadians looking carefully at what he said. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hyped. I am hyped for the next election. I cannot wait for these two to go at it. I cannot wait, in my opinion, by the way, to see Pierre Polyev absolutely smash Justin Trudeau in the next election. I think it's going to be a blowout. Justin Trudeau is clearly completely out of touch with Canadians. He is completely dropping in the polls day by day, bringing up issues like abortion out of absolute desperation right now. Abortion, which is an issue that has been settled in Canada, but out of pure desperation, Justin Trudeau is bringing back the abortion debate. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Justin Trudeau on the ropes. Guys. I need to know what you think about these woke passports in the comments. Is that not the most ridiculous thing in the world? It seems as if the liberals have outdone themselves. They don't want to offend anybody. So they put out these horrible designs that you cannot even see what's on there. The world has gone woke. The world is becoming a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get rid of these liberals. We need to save Canada, get rid of the liberals, and help fix this badly damaged country that... Justin Trudeau will leave us with when he is gone. All right, guys, I need to know in the comments, what do you guys think of the new passports? Ridiculous, you like them. What do you guys think about that exchange between Justin Trudeau and Pierre? Who got the upper hand? Was it Pierre? Was it Justin? I need to know in the comments, guys, if you guys enjoyed this comment, sorry, this content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my videos, and the pleb will see you at the next one. Peace.